hard to put it in perspective because, man, that could be me. That could have been me. That was me in a sense. It's tough. It's tough to see, but when you get out of, when you grow up in this, and you are migrating into those, you are given the opportunity and you're given the resources, there's no way you can fail. There's no way you're willing to let yourself fail because you know what the bottom is. You've been there, you've seen it. There's no way you're willing to go back there. But if you never see this and you're up there and you're accustomed to that, you don't know what the bottom is. So you can afford to, you can try to have a misstep. But when you come from this, no, you can't. Africa is the only place in the world where black people can go and build Fortune 500 companies from scratch within five years. China took that same, you know, mind state 25 years ago. China was no different from Africa 25 years ago. Go to China now. Look at Dubai, the Middle East. They just started 15 years ago. That's gonna be going now, even when we're not here. So when we people continuously like donating food and drinks to multiple food banks, and hopefully it's something that we're gonna do around the whole state. I mean, you know, the whole country. Excuse me. And then um, you know, there's so many kids, there's so many people out here that that looking for just one meal a day. So with us, you know, tech, you know, partnering up and being able to start this, that's gonna save a lot of kids' lives. I would like to appreciate um, um, Kamaru's man and um, Ryan for the great partnership with Lagos Uber. We cannot do a lot. Uh, we cannot do a lot on our own. We need partnerships, and we want to appreciate it. Thank you very much, and we look forward to more partnerships with you. Thank you very much, Tom. Please, thank you very much. Well, uh, Kamaru actually uh, had the positive feedback about the last time he did, any, uh, he did an activity with the food bank. This time, we wanted it to be something that continues after, uh, after his visit, not only a one-off one, one uh, thing. So, uh, I believe this is going to be, as Kamaru said, it's going to catch like wildfire. A lot of brands will jump on board, a lot of supermarkets. So, this, this is going to be good, big, for sure. These are most of the volunteers. They got over 13,000 volunteers. These people are volunteering their time. They don't have the resources, not even money, but they're volunteering their time to help feed the country, to help feed the less fortunate. So why wouldn't I get involved and do something that could help them? So this, this is an amazing initiative. The first time I was here, we fed, uh, I think, um, almost 500,000 kids or something like that. And this time we're doing it again, but now we're making it long term. We don't just want to just donate and, and feed kids. We want to make it continuous long term. So we're partnering with some of these big, big brands um, like Indomie, where there are talks of you know, getting the proposal, everything approved, Nigerian Brewery, a lot of different companies. And they will follow. Those companies will follow when they see what we're doing and how we're doing it because we care about us. We care about us. You know, I don't care who doesn't got us. We got us. We got to take care of us. So, man, it's it's um it's just a start, but 
we have, a, we have a long way to go. We got work to do. And I'm just glad that I, I finally, because one of the, the most difficult thing was finding the partners and the people that could help carry out the vision. And um, partnering with my guys, I think we, uh, we're on the right track to do that. This show is going to be a big memory thing for us all because uh, we in Nigeria, I think we're so lucky to have Kamaru Usman in our midst. And I know other fights are uh, happening in America that he's not even trying to be there. But we talk about the motherland home and uh, he's here to support us. And we never think we'll see this opportunity. And now I think it's a chance for us to step up. and do the right thing at the right time that is here and is going to see to all the activities we're doing in this fight and our wrongs and right. I don't think whenever we go wrong this time around, we can't, we can't go wrong ever again because we have the champ around us and uh, I can say I'm very glad. The whole fighters in Nigeria are very, very happy for having him in our midst and we're going to step up and do well from now on. Say the young pup grows up finally. <laughs> so, you know, it's fun to, uh, and I'm excited to be on the opposite end now of what we do. So, uh, we're starting something special here in this country and in this continent. And, um, you know, we're hoping this is the first of many. And um, I'm just excited, I'm proud to go in here and watch these guys and, you know, represent and support these fighters as they show what Nigeria can do. Let's go.
Tonight, face off fight, then we have a lot of things coming up, so we just want to say don't go anywhere because we have more amazing fighters like the Horrigan coming up. Congratulations on everything. We wish you the best in your journey Thank in you. MMA in Africa. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. All right, bro. Take it easy. Stop right now, you get me? My first MMA, first fight I'm watching in Nigeria, you get me? So, yeah, it's beautiful. So, shout out to Kamari for this shit.
it's lost, it could be found. So don't try to hide it from me. Like my gifts wrapped up like we found a mummy. Happy hunting, hope you get what you're looking for. We on the run trying to look for more. Can't leave it, be handy, won't take this for granted. Plan work just how I planned it. I'm just a bandit, gotta do what I gotta do. Keep on coming through, I can never lose, never settle like you. Bro, it's amazing. Like I've been, I've been fighting not today. So it's just what we do, bro. It's what we do. It's, it's up to Kamaru's man because I really dedicate this fight for him. Like I'm impressed when I heard that he's around, he's with us. He's even one of the organizer. Like it really made me to show him and show audience what I'm capable of. Justified, and everybody else? Oh, okay. All right. Guys, I just want you guys to know, I, I, I know it's kind of tough to really bring in right now because you guys just fought, but I want you guys to understand how monumental something you guys just did. You guys just made history, the first fighters to bring a professional mixed martial arts bout here to your people of Nigeria. I want to thank you guys. You guys went out there, you guys delivered. It's, it's tough, it's tougher than it is. You know, with the crowd like that, it's tougher, right? It's not as easy. So I want to thank all you guys. You did a phenomenal job, you guys delivered. Thank you so much. You know, great fights, you know, guys, and I see a lot of great potential, okay? This is just the beginning. I'm sure more gyms are gonna spring up and I'm sure more and more guys are gonna wanna get into the sport because now you guys get to inspire the rest of the country. Okay, so thank you, I appreciate everything you guys did. Everyone who fought, who feels anything, if you feel anything going on, please get it checked out and make sure that you're okay, okay? I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much. This is the first one, and this is an important one because, of course, I would love to do it at a, an arena like the Madison Square Garden and have thousands of people there to watch and cheer and root. Yes, it is open for everybody, but at the same time, this one is to show those people, the powers that may be, that are going to help carry out this sport, that are going to help implement this sport, implement these gyms and these programs that are going to teach the masses and educate them on every thing, every aspect of this sport to eventually create those opportunities for everybody. I would love it. I would love for everybody in the in, in this country to be able to come and watch this.